Hi guys, in this video I want to show you the, uh, there's two ways that you can uh, export the data from API Info into the Excel. So let's assume you have more than 1% to do the data entry and now you want to combine the own data into uh, one uh, data set and export it into um, to the Excel. In order to, to combine the data together, you open the classic uh, data analytics uh, window. Uh, in uh, App Info 7. In, on the left hand side you will see here we have you know, the read function. The first step is you need to read the data first, uh, browse to the data that you want to combine and I put it uh, here on my desktop. Let's say um, we have the first um, the first speed is contained the 353 records. I open it and select you know, the form that I want to combine. Uh, you can see here I left the, uh, some the default setting, uh, show the form and click the OK. So if we see you know, on the uh, screen, it will show up with you know, the number of the records um, in the data that I am um, I, selecting here. The next step is uh, go to the function is called the right and uh, export the data. And on the uh, right hand side, you can see the own the various versions uh, uh, in your database. And on the right hand side, you can see the output most with the two option append or replace. Um, you can see here on the right hand side there are two options. The the output mode is append, but I want to. Um, create uh, export the current data into the new Excel file so I select the replace and browse to the location that I want to put the data my data in so let's say I am assume that I see this first step I will name the own a curly data so here is another you know, uh, different option. The first browse contain the header information. You leave it there and click the OK. And you also need to name the sheet that uh, you um, when you export the data to. So I name the here the own data O E Kali data. And then click OK, right? So you will see here this second moment to until the uh, export is completed, and you can see here right, the summary of the export. You can see the total number of um, uh, three hundred and fifty three records were written. So let's to check about this. So you can see here we have our own records. We have total is three hundred and. Uh, 54 records, but it includes the the um, the variable name here. So in total, we have 353 records. So this is the first pass of the uh, the data. So how I can the combine the uh, uh, the others uh, into the first one? So we will do the similar um, pro, uh, step. Go into read again. Select the data that you want. AP to Excel and the second piece is it contains the 359 records. You open the process select the form that you want to combine, click OK. Then before we show you the how many records that are in your database is 359. You go to, next step is go to the right, click on right reports, and you can see here, right? We have a list of the variable and also we have the same. Uh, the default option is output mode in append, so you leave there instead of uh, it's different with the first step. I choose a replace, and this one I, I, I will use append. I want to go to append with what I have, uh, what I export. Uh, the default mode is uh, the append, and the output format you need to select the micro Excel, right? Um, you but instead of uh, create the new the Excel file, you use uh, the NP info we allow you to continue to append the data into the existing uh, uh, file. So this is a connection information you will browse to the first to the file that you export uh, earlier. I will go to the own Eclipse data here. 
and I leave the default option of Wordpress container headers and click OK. And you can see here, instead of you, you tie the name of the, the, the sheet, you, when you click on here, you will see the name of the sheet uh, in the file that you want to append data to. Right? Here, I select the sheet name, the own quality data, and then click OK. So we see here, it's going to take a little bit to um, combine the data from the two pieces. The app info we show you the how many that's uh, records were uh, written with total number uh, 359 uh, records. So let's go to check uh, the results. You open the file, uh, but sometimes it's, uh, it's happened like this. You So I close it, and now I open it again. Oh, here we go. So the the, the error is maybe you are opening the um, the the data analysis uh, windows. So y you can check here, right? Uh, you the total number of reads caught, you can see here is uh, three seven um, hundred and thirteen. So it's it's it total is contain the total number of the both the data sets. So the order that they here, here and it, you also can see the how many how many so you also can see here how many uh, variables that you uh, have total we have 82 variables so the, the way that you can export the data into from uh, uh, FP to Excel uh, and append um, data from di uh, different uh, pieces uh, I want to show you another example of uh, how we can export the data to the Excel using the app info but instead of go to classic uh, analyze the data um, windows I will go to the visual dashboard so what's the difference between the two when I, I in terms of exporting data into Excel if you go to classic you can the combine and append the data from different pieces of your data but when you use the visual dashboard you have to export one by one and then combine it into Excel manually right so let's go to the visual dashboard and the first step you go to the set data sort is quite similar with the risk function in the classic mode you read the data and um, I will go to first piece it's quite similar right go to full history click OK and if you see here, in total we have uh, 353 records for the first bit of the, uh, our data. So to export the, uh, uh, into the Excel, we go to the um, top corner, we have uh, the option function here. You can see the, you know, in the middle we have the export data function. Click on this, browse to the... Um, uh, you first step you have to select the output format. It to me is that somehow it's done to work with the two uh, the micro Excel two and uh, seven workbooks or um, so I usually the select the Excel micro Excel uh, uh, ninety seven and um, two hundred and three the workbook here. Uh, the next step is the connection and information where you want to uh, put the data in. It's quite similar with the um, the step uh, we did uh, previously, right? go to the browse to go to the location that you want to put the data in I uh, we name the file is a colley a colley um, three records and click OK and I leave there and click OK and you can see the destination table I we use the a colley uh, 353 and I select the on the variable here, right? If you want to unselect, you you, you can click, you know, you can uh, select you know, a number of variables that you want to export to. But in this case, I we select all. And then click the export. Of course, you can unselect the sort variables by the tab orders, but it doesn't matter. You click the export, the city the first pass. So you can see here, you know, there is. Um, the app info also show you the number of records were written. Uh, you click close and let's check the results. You go to here, right? We have the equally the Excel file, the equally um, 353. Uh, it's pop up in a similar um, 
uh, errors. So it may be due to the we are opening this one, uh, the uh, dashboard uh, uh, common and is it using the data that we export? So I guess uh, we should close it and reopen the file again. Click on it to check. Oh, come on. So right, yo, you can see here. But it's, yeah, it is a little different. You can see here the total number of variable is 70H. What the difference between the um, the first option that we use? Why the number of variable is uh, a little different? When you look compare the two variables, um, when you choose to compare the two, um, uh, the number of both the option, if we see the is a little different. So I name here it should be something like using the dashboard. Using the dashboard, and I will export it from the class six. Okay, so I will go back to the form here and select the own the variables and paste it into here. Transpo, and you can see here, right? We have uh, a little bit different than each other number of variable. So, what is the variable Danos uh, show up at the post? Uh, go to duplicate, and I want to highlight the duplicates, the variables, and you can see here, you can see here, right? We have the four variables just. When you when we export using the classic uh, analysis window, there's the the four variable here we not be exported to the Excel. So this is a difference between the two methods. Um, in order to the combine, in order to the combine the uh, the different the other uh, piece the uh, of the data, you do the similar. The procedures using the dashboard and then open the the, the Excel and combine it together. So I hope uh, this helps. Thanks.